Okay, we're on Shkalim, Perakei, Mishnah Bet, second Mishnah in the fifth chapter of Shkalim. We're going to continue discussing, the Mishnah continues discussing the structure of the, of the personnel in the Beit HaMikdash. We just learned in the last mission the 15 jobs. So the Mishnah is going to continue and says the following. And pochatim mishlosha gizbarim, there's no less than three gizbarim. Three, uh, gizbarim were the, were the gabaim. Beshiva amar kalim, but seven amar kalim. What are amar kalim? This is a fascinating word. The Markalim were the Ma'alamina Gizbarim. Okay? And uh, they, they were above the, the Gizbarim. Nisi, Nisi, a Levi, the princes of the Levi. Mitargamina. If you look at Unclus, it calls them Amarkalaya de Mamona. The money officers. So let's look at the Jastro for a second. Amarkol, a counselor and an officer. If you want, you get a, you get a Jastro bonus. Oops. Let's go. What happened there? Let's go back there. Okay. I don't know what happened there. I lost my uh, jaster. That's okay. We'll go to a. So anyway, you, you, you get the idea. It's a money officer in the time of the in the time of the in the Beit Hamikdash. So he says interestingly, <coughs> what was their job? They had seven keys of the azara. If one of them wanted to open, meaning i.e. get into the money, they all had to open it at the same time. And the gizbarim would go in, okay, and then take what they need. So meaning there was there was this you know collective like you know when you go to the safety deposit box you have your key and the person's key they had seven keys, and if the gizbar needed something they had to go to all seven. I guess all seven had to know and had to agree what was the money for. If you ever know anything about uh, political structures and money, one guy doesn't want to open the key, you're struck, you're stuck. So above the amar kalim. It's not mentioned in the Mishnah. Three, two katilokim. Okay, so there. Were, what was a katilokim? You have to look it up in the bar to, in the in the katidrin katros kati Here we are. Financial officer, controllers. So you have to have the controller. So you have so so in this structure. In the end, you have five. So he says, what were there? Nimsu chamesh madrigot. Five five levels. Kohen gadol. Skan, the Skan going out of the assistant, then the Katilokim, the three, the two Katilokim among them, Amar Kalim, seven Amar Kalim, and three Gizbarim. So that was the power structure in, of the Kahuna Gedola, of the Kohen Gado. And I'm sure with its, with its, I'm sure everybody respected each other and everybody got along great. Okay, says the Mishnah, En Osim Shrara Al Hatsibur Bimamon, there is no uh, responsibility. You never have a job of somebody with monetary responsibilities, Pachot Mishnaim, less than two people. Meaning there always has to be two people coming together. We've learned this in the Sechet Pea as well. Okay, why? You have to always have to have two people. Why with two? Because you don't do Shirara and the seaboard less than two. Everyone should be above suspicion. Which makes sense, uh, which makes a tremendous amount of sense. Chutz, uh, except for the following cases. Ben Achiyah Sha'al Chole Me'ayim. Ben Achiyah was in charge, remember, we learned of the, of the intestinal problems. And I guess he needed a budget in order to pay for the, the, the medical medicine and whatever. And Elazar was in charge of Parachot. Shaotan kiblu robot sibur aleihem. Because those two people, everyone accepted them for whatever reason. They were considered so trustworthy that nobody ever had a problem giving them responsibility, monetary responsibility, with no other person going along with them. Stop here. Dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simcha Beyuska Kalman. And Sipur Afega Matilda Banacham Eli Melech. And as always, if you have comments or questions, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.